Frigates have been a staple of navies for centuries, dating back to the age of exploration. Early designs were primarily for escorts and patrols. Now, modern frigates are designed to carry out a variety of missions, including anti-submarine, anti-aircraft, and anti-surface operations. They are typically smaller and more maneuverable than destroyers, but much larger and more heavily armed than patrol boats. In this video, we're taking a closer look at one of the most advanced frigate classes, the Norwegian Fridtjof Nansen class frigate. The Fridtjof Nansen class frigate are the main surface combatant units of the Royal Norwegian Navy. The naval vessels are named after famous Norwegian explorers, with the lead ship of the class bearing the name of Fridtjof Nansen, a Norwegian explorer, scientist, diplomat, humanitarian, and Nobel Peace Prize laureate. Five vessels were built by the Spanish shipbuilder Navancha, with the last vessel laid down in 2007 and commissioned in 2011. The Fridtjof Nansen class frigates were originally planned as a replacement for the older Oslo class frigates, with an emphasis on anti-submarine capabilities. However, the need for a stronger anti-aircraft defense and the option of including the surface-to-surface -surface missile resulted in a versatile design. As a result, the Nansen-class frigates are now considered multi-role warships with anti-submarine, anti-ship, land attack, and air defense capabilities. The choice of Navancha as the main contractor led to the design being similar to the Spanish Navy's Alvaro de Bazin-class frigates. Displacing 5,290 tons of water with a full load, the frigate has five levels and two elevated structures. Constructed with welded steel, the 132-meter single-hull vessel has 13 sealed compartments to increase survivability. Its design is optimized for stability, seakeeping, and maneuverability, featuring appendages and propellers with low hydrodynamic noise. The vessel also features a single helicopter deck and hangars for a NH-90 helicopter. The Fridtjof Nansen class is powered by a combined diesel electric and gas propulsion system. The two Basin Bravo 12V diesel engines produce 6,000 shaft horsepower each for efficient cruising, while the single General Electric LM2500 gas turbine is capable of producing 25,700 shaft horsepower for high-speed cruising. These power two shafts with controllable pitch propellers. A retractable bow thruster improves maneuverability. The maximum speed of the Fridtjof Nansen class sits at 26 knots, with a range of 4,500 nautical miles at 16 knots. The Fridtjof Nansen class frigates are equipped with a variety of armaments to support its multi-role capabilities, thanks to the integration of Lockheed Martin's Aegis weapon system and the anti-surface and anti-submarine warfare systems from Kongsberg Defense and Aerospace. The vessels are armed with eight Kongsberg's NSM long-range anti-ship missile featuring a range of 200 kilometers and a 120 kilogram multi-purpose warhead. They also have an 8-cell MK-41 vertical launch system, or VLS, that launched the RIM-162 Evolved Sea Sparrow missile. The VLS holds 32 missiles, and a second similar VLS can be fitted for a total capacity of 64 missiles. Armament also includes two twin magazine torpedo launchers that launch BAE System Stingray lightweight torpedoes and a single 76mm dual-purpose naval gun that can engage surface and aerial targets. For self-protection, the Fridtjof Nansen class frigates have four 12.7mm heavy machine guns mounted on the Sea Protector remote weapon system and two long-range acoustic devices. The EAGIS combat data system is the main system on the Fridtjof Nansen class and is connected to a SPY-1F radar and various other sensors. A Link-11 and Link-16 system is fitted for information exchange. The sonar system is a combined active-passive array consisting of MRS-2000 hull-mounted sonar and MK-2CAPTAS towed array that allow it to detect and track submarines and surface vessels. There are currently four Fridtjof Nansen class frigates in active use. HNOMS Helga Ingstad, pennant number F313, collided with an oil tanker in 2018. She was recovered, but due to the high cost of repairs, the frigate was decommissioned and sold for scraps. In early 2022, 
Navantia secured a new agreement with the Norwegian Defence Material Agency for the technical support and the future upgrading of the Fridtjof Nansen class frigates. What do you think about this class of frigates? Let us know in the comments below. If you're interested in defense and want to keep up with the latest developments, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content.